Morning guys, welcome to day two of the Monaco video blogs and I'm stood on my balcony. We've got an awesome view and um, we've just seen a Ferrari FF down there. So whilst our video blog, there might be some supercars. We kept hearing um, Ferraris and Lamborghinis all night last night, um, but you don't get the best view of the road. But I was almost certain that I heard a LaFerrari, which would have been pretty cool. And as well, I'm going to apologise straight away for wearing the same t-shirt as I wore yesterday. Um, but, but we're heading down to the gym for a quick workout before we head down to Casino Square and um, probably McDonald's as well. Um, the only reason being I don't want to carry on wasting t-shirts by uh, going to the gym and getting exercise and uh, making all of these t-shirts sweaty. So I'm wearing an old t-shirt. Back onto the blogging balcony. Gym was an absolute disaster. They had like two treadmills and um, a mat for you to do press ups and sit ups. So, not too impressed. So, we're just going to head out and uh, try and find some supercars now because that's all there is to do in Monaco. Um, so, we saw a camouflage Aventador drive past, but unfortunately, I was too slow on the camera. But quick on my phone so if you follow me on Twitter you would have seen that I uploaded a bird's eye shot of a camouflage Lamborghini Aventador so we're gonna go and try and hunt that down which would be difficult because it's camouflage so it blends in with everything to the ice machine no water not a, not a water machine an ice machine because it's so hot here everything just melts one half pint of ice. Here's a view. Panamera. Say hello. She can see me filming. <laughs> By the way, this is Dimmy164, who I'm here with Monaco with. He's on YouTube as well. Dimmy stands for his name. 164 stands for his love of Bugattis. 16.4, if you didn't get it. More view of Monaco. And we're heading down in the lift. Just your average size yachts. Some of them are as big as my finger. That one's given birth to another your boat. That's a pirate ship. One on the end is yet to have a name, it's nameless. I feel sad for it. Look how big it is. I was almost gonna swear there. Then on to the smaller ones. Quarter past one in central Monaco. Maybe we should Huh? No, that's alright. They're just getting in the way of our video, if they if they do. Anyway, quarter past one, lunch time. To give you an idea of how big this pizza is, <laughs> that's my hand. And my hand's fairly big. And it's fair, quite busy. Just had a 12C and a Gallardo drive past. We've had a pretty decent morning. Seen a 918 Spider for a glimpse. 
and apparently on Instagram there's another one on its way in from Cannes so hopefully we get to see two 918 spiders today but I'm going to tuck into this pizza chorizo is it still hot? it's too hot too hot to eat one slice down Hun hungry pigeon already I'm sure he'll be back It's getting towards 30 degrees. We've seen a Russian Bugatti Veyron, one that Dimi hasn't seen before. <laughs> and he loves Bugattis dearly, so we're going on a hunt to find the Bugatti, to find the 918. And um, all round, it hasn't been too bad. We're right by the beach. It's getting hot. And I'm hoping that one time when I'm video blogging, something will pop out of the blue and then it will look like there's loads of supercars in Monaco because at the moment there's not too many and I'm thinking the challenge of 500 supercars or however many you guys challenge me to is maybe um, quite difficult over the time scale that I've been given maybe over a year it'd be a bit more realistic but 500 supercars and hypercars Bentley it's about as good as we're gonna get I think in this video blog well right now anyway but yeah, 500 supercars in four days is uh, quite, a, quite a difficult challenge. But I'm getting there. Just had a uh, hilarious moment by the Fairmont Hotel. As you can see, there's two Ferraris behind and um, we've just overheard two people walking past. One of them said that they would prefer to have the one on the right because you can take the top down. Now, if you look closely at the uh, 458 Spider, it's actually a Spider, so you can take the top down on both of them, but obviously he wasn't a uh, car enthusiast and uh, just stupidly picked the 430 over the 458. Day two, halfway through, I'd say. Halfway through with just as bad wavy floppy hair. Heading up the hill again to the hotel. Time to um, refresh ourselves. Head back down to the uh, marina for some dinner. And then it's back out again to try and find more supercars. Today seemed to be better than yesterday. So, um, I'm really hoping for a good evening of uh, lots of supercars, lots of hypercars. This guy's having some problem. Real problem with hill starting. <laughs> His clutch is smoking. That stinks. His clutch is smoking. Oh, huh?
so quiet around the back of the casino and uh, it's the end of day two I'm absolutely shattered we've been walking for absolute miles it's about I think it's about half twelve one o'clock in the morning so hot and uh, it's time to get back to the casino casino <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going back to the hotel. <laughs> We're going back to Casino Square, then to the hotel. Definitely not going to the casino. <laughs> We're spending another ten grand, are we? <laughs> so uh, rather than uh, ending the video blog up at the hotel like I did last night, I thought I'd switch up a bit and end it outside the back of the casino. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.